it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to episode 6 of KMA's Jams. Had to think of it for a second. Just another Minecraft series, and that's what we are. And look at Olaf behind my head. Hello, Olaf. That's where I get my snow. You already knew that, though. But today, I am showing off my new diamond armor. I kind of finished up that... Uh, tunnel we were working on last episode where I was talking about procrastination. Procrastination, not prastication. Procrastination. So, yes. So I fi didn't completely finish it, but I finished most of it. And I got some diamonds, and I had been enchanting. Because, you know, playing with Blames Farms, you tend to have lots of extra levels around so I had a whole bunch of books and I made some armor <clears throat> that is worthy excuse me <clears throat> yeah 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 as you can tell in the last few videos I've been a little coughing like that um, and finally I think the cold has landed I've been fighting it for about a week but this morning uh, it doesn't seem like I'm fighting it anymore. It seems like I'm losing the battle, but I'm not gonna say I'm sick yet because then I'd lose, and I don't like losing. So I'm not sick. I tell you, I'm not sick. No. Yes. So, um, great armor and gear armor. Um, let me see. You know the protection fours on everything. Some sort of protection four. And you already knew about my boots. So it's it's nice to be able to be safe so um what i have done let me get something i need to get something before i go because i had to use the last potion where are you there we go we can put the potion back in there um because tegan in the nether which is part of the plan today um, I've changed my nether a little bit. My nether looks a little different, but uh, yeah, I don't have any tunnels going anywhere yet. <laughs> so that's the plan. Um, don't know how much of this we're going to get done today, but what I wanted to do in this clip is make the stairway complete with what did I choose? I chose andesite. I'm going to line it with this polished andesite all the way up. Um, give you a heads up of where exactly I am. I am in the computer room in my house. So, look at us. I don't have enough things to shoot at you. Do I go get him? No, he's going away. So this is where the the portal was, and that's the way to the the blaze farm. I've got it marked off pretty well, but I like doing my things in the ceiling, and so I'm going to um, replace all this and talk to you about something I just signed up for and what I should do. Hmm. Yeah. Should I be responsible? Or should I have fun? Okay. Um, Hermitcraft is having a UHC uh, sometime soon. And I am invited. Before you guys get excited, it's not to play with Biffa, Slipgator, and all them. It is kind of a fan UHC and I don't not sure if um, I'll actually be playing with anybody that I watch or if I will even be on the server with anybody I watch I don't know how they do this but I saw the sign up and as you know on a whim I said yeah I'll, I'll do that and and I knew when I signed up for it that I'm pretty sure that none of the you uh, hermit crafters are actually going to be on there. Where are you? 
Okay, that's not cool. Let's block myself in. Oh, there you are. Let's get away from my ladder. Oh, you mean I missed you? Oh, that's not good. Okay, I thought the pigman was going to be mad at me because he hit them. Are you mad at me, bro? No, you're not. Good. Frickin' gas. Yeah, he didn't have anything I want. Um... So I guess every once in a while... Nah. I'm gonna cut these two out. And I gotta look in... I gotta do more research. I just, like, found out about this right before I started recording today. Um, but I guess they do um, UHCs with their fans every once in a while. And there's a specific place to sign up. And I'm not telling you guys because um, I don't know if they're just looking for a certain type of fan to do this. I, I'm not, I gotta do some research and in the second half of this video I'm gonna clarify all this stuff that I don't know right now. I want you. And, um, but either way, from what I, from what it seems like, um, it's the, f God, dweezos, 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 dweezos. It's for the fans. And I'm a fan of Hermitcraft. And I like playing UHCs. And I've only done one. And I... We're doing good until a certain time where... Um, we were in the nether. Hence the hate nether jokes all the time. Um, and one of my teammates accidentally lit... Oh! Oh, oh I'm going to go get that gas tier. Um, <laughs> one of my teammates lit me on fire by accident. And basically took all my health. And then a blaze just kind of bumped into me and I died. And that's my only UHC experience. But it was one of the highlights of anything I've done Minecraft and to be able to play on a Hermitcraft sponsored event even though it is not um, I, I even though I'm not going to be playing against the Hermitcrafters I don't think I don't think I could be wrong um, it still will be fun. A lot of fun. And it's something I would be looking forward to. But the problem is is that this is happening on a Saturday. Saturday and work for me is like if if you're not dead in the hospital, you better be at work. And it's like the worst thing you can do is to call in to work on a Saturday at the post office in my position because it's a day that we're already short people and if any of the people who are scheduled to work call in it makes it really bad um, so I have a decision because I know I, if I ask for the day off, I'm not going to get it. I know that for a fact. And it is something I would record. Um, and upload to this, you know, to my website, to YouTube. Um, but I'm not... Ugh. I'm not sure if the risk for reward is enough. So I kind of look in to see what your thoughts on it are. I'm going to have to do some more research. Obviously, if I knew I was playing with 
Exuma and Biffa and all of them, I would be like, well, fuck work. <laughs> but I don't... Um, how do I do that? Is it F3H? Let me see. Oops. Do I have to do it F3H like that? There it is. F3H to get your durabilities on the weapons. So I have 53 durability left on this. So this isn't too bad. Um, I can finish this little tunnel here. This exciting tunnel of doom. Um, so... Will... Exuma or Biffa or whomever be on the server to meet all of us, I don't know. So I don't know how important it is for me. I mean, yeah, I'd love to play a UHC against people, but I don't know if it is how, is, how much Hermitcraft is actually involved with it. Um, so the more involvement that the actual members of Hermitcraft, I feel like I'm juggling here, are involved with it, uh, the more I want to say, well, I'm calling it to work, screw that, and I'm going to have fun that day, and then the videos will be coming out every other day, they've already had the schedule for releasing the videos, which seems interesting. Um, but I think ultimately my decision will, will be determined, and I'm just thinking about this now, um, on whether or not they're going to be around. If I get a, if I have a chance to, like, be on the server with some of the hermit crafters, I'm sorry, I think I'm going to have to call them to work, because that would be too much fun, but I'm not sure they're going to be there. So, that's the decision I'm going to pose to myself and to you guys, because I've already posted it right before I started recording this, um, a thread on Twitter with a poll, should I call into work to play the Hermitcraft UHC, or should I be responsible and go to work my if I was single and didn't have a kid it would be an easy decision I could always get another job <laughs> but we'll see it's not like I'm gonna actually be fired either for it but it's work and it's gotta you know I I'm considered one of the responsible people there believe it or not yes so let me know. Um, go to Twitter. When this is out, well, it's already out. There's a thread explaining it on Twitter. There's a little poll because I guess Twitter has polls now. So why not you try it? And so that's the question on the poll. Should I call in the sick to play on the UHC with Hermitcraft or not? And I'm glad I got some comments on the last video where I really didn't do anything other than talk, didn't build, and people seem to like it, I guess. Um, I hope you did. They're a little easier to make, these talky videos. Um, I was able to get on last night and work for about a half hour <laughs> on the room, oops, above me. But, um, ah. but it's not still at the level that I like to do in between episodes, but that will come. Um, it is Friday today. No, it's Thursday today. And I have one more week before my route gets cut and I'm going to have a whole bunch of free time compared to what I have now. So, can't wait for that. <clears throat> and I can tell that my mouse, my right pad on my mouse is starting to stick. Not good. 
I'm just going to go to the top now and just cut down like this. So I think it's a little quick a little bit quicker this way. I felt like I was struggling there getting these blocks down when I really shouldn't have been. And I'm going to finish up these other two pillars. Let's put the ladder on. So once this building up here is complete, I am going to make a tunnel to the location of is this all the andesite I have left? I guess so. I gotta get a sneak and get a couple more pieces. I'm gonna make a pillar to my blaze farm. And also to Ooh, I am I am almost out of andesite. Really? Let me go find the th thread real quick. I need to fix this. I don't want to be using up the rest of this durability. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back into the nether, put as much andesite down as I can, and I'll fix my pick off camera and finish this little tube from the nether bottom floor. There's some andesite. <laughs> I'm not going to steal that andesite, though. So let's see. We need... I might be able to actually do this. How... Oh no, we got two more rows to do. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we might be able to do this. Come on. When I did the floor here, um, I was running out of the half slabs and I had exactly the right amount of these things. It was like I made 150 of them and that's exactly what this needed. So I was really happy about that. I love when that happens because usually you have a floor like this and you put down all your things and you got two two holes in the floor that you're like, oh man, I gotta go get some more. <laughs> but yes, now this looks a little bit better because I don't want to see any netherrack in the nether because it's ugly as sin. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna do some work and I'll be back and think about the Hermitcraft. Should I? Should I play the Hermitcraft UHC, leave, either leave work early, which would be about three hours early, or call in sick for that day? <clears throat> even though it might not be with any of the Hermitcrafters, because I think it's just for the fans, um, but I would imagine that seeing that it's a Hermitcraft sponsored event that a couple of the Hermitcrafters will be there at least at the beginning to explain the rules and stuff, and I think that would be fun. Um, or should I just forget about it and go to work? Let me know. There's a Twitter poll right now. Just so go on my Twitter. Twitter, KMA's Corner. Everything for me, KMA's Corner. Facebook, KMA's Corner. Twitter, KMA's Corner. YouTube, KMA's Corner. Phone number, KMA's Corner. Okay, maybe not the phone number. But anyways, I'll be right back. <sighs> Alright. Throughout, um my life I've been with somebody named Stacy who I love very much and I've kind of let her take care of the finances and yeah we've run into financial snafus but nothing serious but what has happened um, and I didn't realize we were this bad off so now I'm taking over the finances so I know exactly what's going on but what happened yesterday <clears throat> which completely freaked me out was um, we asked the landlord to wait an extra two weeks for rent and he said okay if that's the case Tuesday you're evicted which is three days in Florida you are given three days to move and the landlord had said well if you can't give me rent that means you default on your rent so you have three days to move or else so we don't have any extra money it's Florida, it's season. This is the time when all the rent is extremely expensive. Um, a studio apartment down here right now could cost as much as twelve, thirteen hundred dollars a month. And you normally have to have first, last, and um, a security deposit. So that means four thousand dollars basically to move into a place, not including moving expenses. 
and we were looking at having 1500 maybe so moving was like basically not gonna happen so I was thinking I was gonna be basically on the streets for a couple of weeks lugging my computer and my cats around in my car with Stacy and I really don't know what we were gonna do I was actually thinking of sending her up north with my daughter to live with her parents while I get things straightened down here and things like I freaked out I was in such a panic yesterday um, because of this news that I really didn't think I'd be recording again and you know what if I wasn't recording today uh, I probably would never be recording for YouTube again because uh, it was yeah eventually I probably get back but it would be a very long break but uh, we talked with the landlord and he turned out to be not as big a dick as we he was showing and I think he what he was trying to get out of us was he was trying to put us in the corner so we'd squeeze money to him yes we could have paid rent we could have given him rent today which is payday um, but that means my car would be repossessed my uh, power would have been turned off our internet would have been gone and our water would have been turned off so we could have lived here with no power water or internet or he could you know we couldn't play rent and pay everything and car so unfortunately rent was the thing that suffered so this is a little TMI but um, and this whole subject is a little bit TMI and it's a really sucky subject and one thing I am going to talk about and probably maybe in the next episode if I can do some research is how to properly finance I know how to finance I just trusted somebody that I shouldn't have trusted and I had warning signs in the past um, a couple of months ago I said somebody had stolen my car because that's what had initially happened but my car was repossessed and that was a big hey ho Keith you should have taken over the finances because I would never have bought the car in the first place because when it happened I was told from Stacy which is her big bad she's in trouble basically um, and that the two cars were going to cost $400 a month when I didn't realize they were $750 a month and we can't afford that and I'm smart enough to know that we can't afford that and eventually there's going to be consequences and someone else didn't think that far ahead so I have taken over the finances hopefully uh, it's gonna take a few months for me to recover get all the bills caught up again and hopefully I will be happy because when I have money like a parachute golden parachute so like if something happens and I like to have money there to fix that something and right now we don't so like if I blow a tire we're fucked if when I get into a fender bender I'm fucked if any if my daughter breaks an arm I'm fucked if I break a leg I'm fucked so I don't like being fucked so I'm gonna fix the fucked up situation so <laughs> I don't know um, the words I'm using how strong I feel about this and my way of shrugging it off is to joke and stuff but this is my release system for anger instead of going rrr, 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 I kinda joke and smile and you know put out the cool persona that everything's okay but things aren't really okay right now but we're fixing it I'm not being evicted and so that means more videos to come and it is the perfect time of year to make lots of money because my paychecks are gonna be about a thousand dollars more each pay period than they are now for about six months so everything is gonna be fine they're just not fine right now so I apologize for any Twitter stream thing that made people worried um, but I was worried myself so and I really shouldn't be uploading this to the internet but fuck it uh, this is me all of me and that's what you're getting today Life can throw you some curveballs, but you gotta get through it. I mean, Jesus. Um, 
I don't know where to go from there. But <clears throat> I apologize if this episode is a little weird, a little strange, a little slow, and a little whatever. A little angered. But it's been a tough couple of days. And this is, I guess you could consider, the second episode in a row, which is kind of a, more of a vlog than an episode. And I hope you don't mind. And I'm going to go. That's it for me. To make sure you take care of your finances, budget everything. You have to register every single dollar that you spend. You say, okay, I have $1,000 and I spend $1,200. Oops. <laughs> I mean, so when you go to the store and buy yourself a soda or a Gatorade or whatever, a protein drink or something, I don't know what you get at the store, write it down, you know. Uh, there's a program called mint.org. Oh, I got a, I don't know, M-I-N-T. It's a nice program. You can set up all your finances in the program and everything you spend money on, you take out and it automatically deducts and it shows you exactly what you have, what you're saving and all that crap. Should have been doing it years ago, but I'm lazy. I've been working too much in the post office, and I didn't want to work like a 12, 13 hour day and come home and go over financial stuff. I'd rather play this. But guess what? I got to go over financial stuff because that is the best thing for our family because uh, other people have failed at it. So I'll stop whining. Next episode will be lighter. Well,. I'm not going to be getting wings because I'm not playing 1.9. Um, but anyways, I'm going to work on this tunnel and um, make things better in life. So, um, I'll see you next episode. Thank you for listening to me vent. And sorry that I hyped up a Hermitcraft UHC that I'm not going to be doing because... Obviously, with today's or yesterday's events, <clears throat> I can't be taking work off to play Minecraft. So, have a good day. It's a sad and emotionally drained K. <laughs> Goodbye.